Okay, this is our CS61B game demo. Um, this is our gold points video. So for the purposes of this demonstration, we'll only begin the game in light mode so that we can actually show the mechanics of the game. But our, one of our ambition features was the dark mode. So if you're feeling extra daring and patient enough, then feel free to start the game in dark mode. I will also show you the further instructions, but we will show that later in the video. But yeah. for now, we'll begin the game by pressing N. Okay, um, so we're gonna go with one, two, three as our seed. That's us to start. Um, so as you can see on the heading, there are five features on the heading display. So first is the position of the avatar. So wherever you're located on the board, it will constantly update it. And the next feature that we have is the cursor tile. So as you move the cursor around, you can see the different objects that are placed. And this is the walls where the avatar is not unable to move. As you can see right now, you are unable to move up. We also have the radioactive waste, which in this case, or this mode actually does not serve any purpose. But if you play in the dark mode, what it does is that it lights up the world temporarily so that you can see and make strategic moves forward. Another feature when we have is teleportation. So if we move the avatar towards that location, the waves will transport to your different location on the board and it changes every time you go to the same place. Then there you go. So the objective of the game is to actually get closer to the key in as less moves as possible because that would allow you to open the door. And the next feature we can do is um, avatar name. If you press the letter G, you can write your avatar's name. That's our avatar's name now. Press X to do this. And as you can see, leftover waste does not have any meaning in this case, but remaining moves. So at each associated level, you have a certain amount of moves. And if you surpass the amount of moves that are given to you, then game is actually over. So that's one method you can actually do to lose. And as you increase in levels, the remaining amount of moves that you have will decrease by 30 every time. But we will guarantee that the user has at least 100, no matter what, in order to actually complete the level. And you can continue to play the game for 10 levels, and then you would have finally won the game. Um, Okay, so we can see that like once we got the key, the avatar type changed. Um, it does show you, like you now say, you got the key. Um, um, the radioactive waste does decrease as you go over them. Um, but yeah, so now that you have the key, you can go to the locked door. Woo! -hoo! And you're leveling up, and now you're on level two. And as you can see in the corner, you have decreased yeah. moves, which is 170 now. And you can actually just use the least amount of moves possible if you try to manipulate your way through the teleportation devices. Um, so the teleportation devices can be both like helpful and a challenge because they do deposit you randomly. So you don't really know where you're gonna end up. Um, we can show that you won't be able to go through the locked door if you don't have the key. So um, I don't wanna get to there. Yeah, um, so I'm trying to go down. You can't. Um, okay, so we shall try to get to the key now. Um, we, gosh, dang it. Just, I'm trying to, there we go. As you see, this in this case, it was actually helpful for us to go and use teleportation devices. And now we have to try and use another one to get closer to the locked door. I don't think it's just not happening yet. Oh, there we go. It's on the other side now. Um, so as you can see, we have gotten very close to the remaining moves. Yeah, okay, so now I'm just going to try to deplete my moves instead of actually finishing out the game so you can see that you can lose. Um, We will not be able to show you game one because it requires 10 levels and that would require uh, at least an hour mm -hmm. to show because it's quite yeah. slow. But nevertheless, we can show you what happens when the game is over and you have yeah. not completed the objective. We can show you how to lose. <laughs> that we can do. Yeah. Um, okay, almost there. Oh. Game over. Um, lost. And now we will be. We can show you how to play the game in dark mode. So if yeah. we exit out. Okay, so now we're gonna go through the game in dark mode. Press C to start, and then just press N, M, and press C. 
We're going to use the same seed so that the level has the same underlying structure as shown before. Um, so dark mode has visually nothing. Um, all you can see is the avatar and the heads-up display. Heads-up display works exactly the same, and except you can still see the cursor tiles. So you can see what the underlying structure is using the cursor, but you can't visually see anything. And then, um, so we can show you how the radioactive waste works. There you go. So every time you step on the radioactive waste, you'll be able to see the world, but it goes away as soon as you step off and they are one-time use. So you have a limited number of opportunities to see the world. You can see the world a few more times um, every time you teleport, but you will be randomly placed somewhere else. So now we can just try to find the key. Okay. So we can see the world again. Um, key is here. And we got the key, so avatar changed. And then we just have to go unlock the door. Oh, oh. oh. I accidentally fell for you. level two and plus moves different number of radioactive base squares and yeah that's RCS621B game.